Hey, wanted to do a quick quick vlog here. Um, just throw up Casual Warcraft. Um, just just fraps day uh, Diablo three video. Um, yeah, Diablo three. Oh yeah, closed beta. Awesome. Um, yeah, pretty much that's what I've been doing. Uh, Diablo three closed beta and uh, work and a little bit of while here and there when I get a chance. But uh, that's that's about really all that's been going on. Tax season is here wonderfully. Um, if you notice, my video probably looks a little funny. I had to reinstall Windows recently on my computer because uh, I got new toys. Um, I got uh, two Corsair 4 Series 3 uh, 60 gig. Uh, I can't freaking think. 60 gigabyte uh, SSDs, uh, which I loaded up in RAID 0. Had to do a fresh Windows install and all that. So not everything is back to 100%. Yet. That was only about a week and a half ago. I kind of should get on my butt and do this, but... I haven't yet. Uh, yeah, uh, in exchange for this, I did ditch my 40-inch monitor. I no longer have the 40-inch Sony Bravi as my monitor. I did have to go back to my 23. But let's face it, a 23-inch monitor that's still doing 1080p is still quality, quality monitor. So, yeah. Um, probably going to have another uh, another update coming up on here uh, about the Beast, because uh, who's been renamed Illustrial after my World of Warcraft character, my main for the last three years now um because she's definitely female <laughs> that's all I'm, I'm not going any further but uh oh my god ssds holy crap I, I i guess i should do a little review of things while i'm right here um i also tried out recently a razor naga um I, i'm not a fan i'm really not i you know everybody and their brother says the razor naga is the best mouse money can buy Man, it's not. Uh, at least as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I'm I'm a big WoW player. We all know that, cause I, you know, casual Warcraft. But um, I, I've been playing with a Steel Series WoW MMO mouse for, and I'm on my second one now. I think like three years, two and a half, three years. The thing's a brick. First of all, I mean, it's you know, it's it's a mouse. <laughs> it is the rat of mice. Okay, it is huge. Um, as I destroy my desk. The uh, the Razer Naga is well not. It's rather small. And I, I have pretty pretty large hands. So it really didn't work out on a, on a on a on a comfort scale for me because it is so small and compact. The other thing I really didn't like about it, and this is what I love about my my Steel Series mouse is it's a 14 button mouse, which includes the right and left click and the scroll wheel, but it is still 14 buttons those 14 buttons aren't bound to the keyboard in any way, shape, or form. They're just 14 mouse buttons. So for uh, for instance, on my healing tunes, uh, my priest and my druid, when I use healbot, I just bind everything to mouse clicks. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about mouse over macros or any of that crap. The Naga isn't. It's either bound to your top row of keys, your one through equals, you know, one through equals at the top of your keyboard, or your numpad over on the right side. That's kind of maddening for me. I don't know why. I just, I, I don't need keyboard keybinds. I, I mean, I have a Logitech G510. I've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I've got 18 keys on the left side of my keyboard that I can bind whatever I want to. 18. Plus the rest of my keyboard still. Plus the number pad on the right if I really want it. I don't need more keyboard keybinds. I don't. <laughs> so that was kind of maddening. Um, bought it at Best Buy, got it, I had like 20 bucks in reward zone certificates or whatever, so I bought it, tried it out for, I think, three days. And as a Windows mouse, it was great. As a gaming mouse, I hated it. it sucked. Returned back to Best Buy. Um, yeah. Um, not, I don't want to not recommend it, but I don't want to recommend it either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my opinion is kind of a, kind of a neutral deal at this point, because I think if I had smaller hands... Or if I needed more keyboard keybinds, it would have been great. But I don't. And I don't. So, on to review number two, I suppose. Uh, Corsair for Series 3 Solid States. I got the 60 gig version because, well, they're not cheap. And uh, I really only wanted to use it for an OS drive, a main boot drive, and uh, um, a, couple of a couple of games. You know, WoW, of course, and some key software stuff that I use. So, for that, ho, ho, ho man. Um, first thing I did, I, I got them installed, got Windows installed, and before I even installed anything on them, I did it, uh, I did it, 
I did an Addo uh, benchmark test on them, and my old spinners, I had a 500, uh, yeah, 500 gig spinner was my primary drive, my boot drive, and all that. I did an Addo drive, I did an Addo benchmark on that. That was reading at, it was writing at 71 megabytes a second, or yeah, 71 megs a second. It was reading at 78 megabytes a second, I believe. I don't remember. I didn't save the benchmark because it was kind of dismal. At least after I did the one on my solid states. Now, granted, they're in RAID 0. They are um, SATA 3 drives, so they are the 6 gig per second SATA drives, and they're on SATA 3 ports on my motherboard. So you're not going to get much better performance out of them than what I got unless maybe you have a much higher end motherboard. It's possible I've got a Gigabyte 890FX, uh, FXA UD5, you know, that's the exact model, which is a, a good motherboard, but there are higher end boards out there with uh, SATA 3 on them. So, that being said, Addo's benchmark on that. My write speed was 880 megabytes a second. My read speed was 1.06 gigabytes per second. I, I literally can't think that fast. I can't. It used to take me from, say, installing a program where you have to reboot afterwards, a full reboot from shutdown to startup and actually able to function all programs loaded and doing things was two minutes on the outside edge. Okay, granted, no RAID 0, not a SATA 3 spinner, just a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM spinner. Okay. Two minutes, two and a half minutes. Now I loaded the RAID 0, so it takes a second for the RAID, the RAID BIOS to load up. But from complete shutdown to complete start, all programs loaded, firing away, ready to go, less than a minute. I mean, we're talking like 40 seconds. It's stupid fast. <laughs> it's the kind of fast that really makes you feel dumb because... You hit reboot, you get up, you get up, you go get a drink, you run to the bathroom real quick, and by the time I come back, it, my computer's sitting here going, come on, I know the friggin' password already. And literally, when it gets to the Windows logon screen, once I type in my password and hit enter, all my programs are loaded. Instant. I'm done. I'm completely ready to go. Right there. Done. I've had, so far, knock on wood, none of the major issues that anybody else has complained with these, the uh, blue screen's death, um... Uh, soft freezes, hard freezes, um, any of that stuff. I haven't had any problems with them. Great. They're awesome. They're amazing drives. Mine did come with the newest Sandforce. Uh, it was a 1.33 controller. Uh, the firmware, a 1.33, uh, Sandforce 1.33, which has worked great. Um, really, the only thing I think I could have done better was to go with the 4 Series GT, but the 4 Series GT I read up on and the 120 gig version has a lot of issues and I've seen some issues with the 60 gig version as well from reviews and whatnot. I, I went with the 4 Series 3 because it seems like the more stable drive. Um, there's a lot less negative reviews. Everything seems pretty good. So that's the new setup anyways. Like I said, I will be giving you guys a walkthrough of the beast soon. I have to fix two of my cold cathode lights because they refuse to stick to my case. Not sure why, but they don't like to. So uh, yeah. the only other thing I need to do now is I need to add a uh, I need to add another hard drive. I, I don't want to get rid of my 500 gig spinner as a Windows drive. I want I I kept it exactly the way it was with my Windows install on it and just unplugged it from the system. Still in the case, just unplugged. Still even has power to it. I just don't have a SATA cable plugged into it. Sitting right there, ready to go. Just in case, because there, you know, there has been a lot of issues with the uh, the Sandforce controller on the SSDs, so it's a backup, it's a security measure. But I, so I do need to get another spinner, just mainly for frapsing and videos and stuff, because man, frapsing takes up a lot of space. I mean, I just recorded sixty gigs of video in thirty minutes. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you're talking two gigs a minute basically for fraps before it's compressed and compiled, ready to go. Um, I do have a two and a half inch. Uh, spinner I might throw in. I'm not sure. It's 5400, so I really don't know if I want it. But uh, it's there. The only thing I do have to say negative about the Corsair drives, um, the they come with an adapter, uh, two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter. 
it doesn't fit my case. I don't know. I mean, I have an Inwind Dragon Rider case, which you've seen before. It's got a toolless uh, drive bay system. And it's got these two little clips that clip on the side, and your drive slides and click, good to go. So I don't know if it's just not designed to work with that or what, but I've seen a lot of other people complaining that they don't work with their cases. Um, luckily for me, my case did come with one two and a half inch adapter. So I lucked out there. One fit in nice, plugged her right into the adapter, sat in great. The other one, unfortunately, is just kind of sitting around hanging out at the moment. It's in a good spot. It ain't going anywhere, but I, it's just, you know, it annoys me that it, it's not locked down. So, yeah, we're not going to think about that anymore. But uh, it's about all that's going on here. A lot of work. Um, tax season, like I said. Uh, probably going to be disappearing for a few days, but I'm going to try, like I said in my Casual Warcraft videos, to get these up a little more often because, man, I'm bad at this. Horrible at this. You figure, you know, I want channel hits and I want views and all that noise, but I, I, I just forget. Honestly, I have no memory whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, forgive the quality, forgive the low quality video and all that noise. Um, check out my World of Warcraft channel, Casual Warcraft. I believe it's down there somewhere on my channel page. Um, there's Diablo 3 beta videos because there was no non disclosure with this one, so we can do what we want. Um, there's two up at the moment, and there will be three up following this video fairly soon, hopefully. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, Thanks for checking me out. Comment, subscribe, like, thumbs up, and all that noise. And that's all I got. See you later.